So tell me a little bit about what Falcons fans can expect from you going forward on AtlantaFalcons.com. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited about this because, you know, while I'll still be doing everything that I typically do with the NFL Network, I'll be writing columns every few weeks, um, every, every week leading up to the draft and through the draft. But then once we get into the regular season, like every few weeks with some video accompaniments, um, but there also will be interviews with head coach Arthur Smith, GM Terry Fontenot, maybe some players. So there'll be some really interesting um, just kind of sit downs and insights that I can provide from a national perspective. And, you know, in, in dealing with all 32 teams, you know, after covering the Falcons for years when I was with the Atlanta General Constitution, it's kind of really given me kind of a, this, this umbrella overview of how a lot of the other teams work, how a lot of the, the, the league works. And so, again, the perspective and talking to as many people as I do and seeing things a little bit more globally from that 30,000 foot drone to be able to look down and, and just give a different angle on the Falcons to really add to the great work that the people who are already there have done. From your perspective, from this national kind of big picture perspective, where do you feel like this franchise is headed with a new head coach, with a new GM? We'll see. Uh, a lot depends on the draft. Um, you know, it, it's funny because watching them last year and, you know, after spending so many years there, my kids are Falcons fans. So we watched every game. It was frustrating because as much as people want to bang on their talent or this and that, they were in so many games last year that a mental error or just kind of a head scratching mistake, you know, is why they lost. And so I look at this team like they can still win, even if they were to go out and, and draft a quarterback with that number four pick and he sits behind Matt Ryan they've got some personnel that can still win. And, you know, and Arthur Blank would not have hired Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot if he didn't think that they could automatically come in and collaboratively make this team better with what works right now. So um, this is a team that I think will still be competitive and very good. They do need to add some pieces. But I think with this new leadership, you know, after last year's chaos, that can get everybody on the same page and moving in the right direction where they can compete for the NFC South. Given Terry Fontenot's history in New Orleans, obviously he hasn't been a GM yet, but what do you think he might do with that number four overall pick? Well, it's interesting. We had Terry Fontenot on the Huddle Flow podcast on NFL Network, myself and Jim Trotter, and he talked about drafting for the future while staying competitive at the same time. So is he drafting short term? Are they going to hold the pick? Are they going to trade the pick? And I wrote this in a column that's up on, on AtlantaFalcons.com, excuse me, where I talk about I don't think they trade back. Because I think if they trade back, they'll probably be back at like 15. And I don't know if they're going to find the player or players at that pick that necessarily are going to make the type of impact this team needs. That said, if they take a quarterback, which I think they are going to do it for, that player is not going to make the immediate impact. But it will give them salary cost certainty over the next couple of years to allow them to build their roster um, while that player develops. So I think that's the direction that they go. So you see them taking a quarterback rather than, I know Kyle Pitts is someone that's been linked yeah. to the lot or, you know, the trading down, maybe getting someone on the defensive side of the ball. You see quarterback being the move for them. Well, I, I do. It's not that I that necessarily what I think they should do, but I just think the top four picks are going to be quarterbacks. And when you have an opportunity at number four to get a quarterback, you kind of do it because let's say they, they things play out the way I just said, and next year they're picking at 20. Well, you're not going to be able to get your quarterback there. And also that means things went pretty well with Matt Ryan. So how long are you going to hang on to him? It gives you a whole different set of circumstances. So when you have an opportunity to get that right now, I, I do think that they're going to stick and pick a quarterback. From your perspective, what intrigues you about this pairing of Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith, two kind of first time guys in those positions coming to Atlanta with the pieces in place here? IQ. IQ. I'm a big um, highbrow intelligent thinker thinking this way all the time, pushing it forward. And I haven't had many conversations with Arthur Smith, but in people who've talked to him said he's, he's always thinking one step ahead. And look, look what he did for Ryan Tannehill's career. Look what he did down in Tennessee. They were a very physical offense, but they were also very creative. Who could he, get, hit the big play? And he's somebody who's kind of worked his way through the ranks. Being a leader is key. And, you know, with Arthur Blank, that is what it's all about. If you read his book, Good Company, Leadership, while also distinguishing that fine line of leadership of being a partner in the process is, is a really huge deal. So I think that's why 
this absolutely could work. And then with, with Terry Fontenot, I mean, he is just super smart guy where he takes his analytically. He's a processor. Okay. He doesn't think in the moment, but I also think he doesn't, you know, from where he's come from and the way he's been groomed, you know, under some really good, you know, managing people like Mickey Loomis and Jeff Ireland, they think short-term, long-term and how they can work things to stay competitive. So he's got, he's had some really good, people to learn from. And I just think those two collaboratively, because again, of the, the IQ factor and pushing the thinking forward is why it's really going to work well. All right. Draft is just in a couple of weeks. It's crazy. It's almost here, but we'll see how it all kind of starts shaking out. And everyone has to go check out atlantafalcons.com and see your stuff on there. We're happy to have you back in the ATL. Thanks so much. Thanks.